Hi, in this presentation we're going to be covering the CMA Preferences Wizard and the CMA Preferences. Now, if you plan on using the CMA here in Paragon, these preferences should be done before you start. Not all of them have to be done, but it's a good idea to start there with the preferences. So what I want to do is we're going to start by simply clicking on preferences here. And under the system column, we have CMA Preferences Wizard. Now, if you're on a tablet or a mobile device, this will not work. Okay, the wizards do not work on a tablet or a mobile device. But the normal preferences will. Everything that I'm going to do in the wizard is available to you in the CMA Preferences here. The wizard is just a quick way to get started. So if I click on CMA Preferences Wizard, it pops up like so, and you simply hit Start. Once you hit Start here, the first item is your CMA cover letter. This is the letter that is going to be in part of your CMA package, and it has already been filled out for you. If you don't like what was written here, you can highlight it and type in whatever you like. You also have the ability to do more than one cover letter. Because as I'm setting up my CMA, I can choose a different cover letter on a case-by-case -case basis. So cover letter one, two, or three. And then you also have the ability to say which one is your default. Which one would I like to start with at all times? So I'm starting with cover letter one. Once I have my cover letter, I will hit the next button and now we're on to agent resume. Same thing applies here. You have up to three different resumes and you choose which one you would like to make your default. The rest of the information is up to you. You type in whatever you like to type in about yourself. After your resume, you do have company information. If you are not the head broker of this office, you do not have the ability to modify this section. So it lets us know you do not have access to modify this section. So I just simply move on. And if you are the head broker, um, it'll look similar to this. You just type in what you want about the company. After company information, you have subject property detail. This is a report that I can show you once we get into the actual CMA presentation. But what they're asking here is, do you want subject property one or two as your default report? No matter what, you can still choose each of them on a case-by-case -case basis. This will just be your starting point. So I kept mine on subject property one. Then I'll hit next. Then we have the final comments. Once again, this has been filled out for you. If you don't like what was written, type in whatever you like. Just highlight it remove it and type in whatever you like. Okay, now after final comments, we have choose a theme. You get to choose a theme for the CMA package. Okay, we haven't gotten there yet, but once you create the CMA, there's multiple pages and it will come out in whatever theme you select here. Modern, vivid, traditional, elegant, contemporary, or basic. The logos that you see there and the agent photos that you see there will be replaced by your photo and your logo. Okay, so I selected my theme and I will just move on. Another quick tip before we move on. No matter what you select here, remember you can still select a different theme on a case-by-case -case basis. Now we're on to the footer. This is going to show up at the bottom of every report. By default, when you guys get here, it will look like so. You just simply check the box that says, would you like to use your footer? Yes. And you type in whatever you want for the text. Step two, you choose how that text is aligned, left, center, or right. Step three, you choose to add your company logo in your photo, one or the other or both. And step four is only if you choose one, logo or picture. 
if you choose just one of those photos there, you have to tell the system, do you want that photo to be to the left of the text or to the right of the text? So once I have my footer the way I would like it, we simply hit next. You have your disclaimer, which is no disclaimer, or this disclaimer. Each slot is the same. So I do want a disclaimer. And when I hit next, congratulations, you're done. You never have to touch this wizard ever again unless you want to. But once I hit close, if I need to make any changes to these preferences, we go to preferences again. And instead of going to the wizard, we go to CMA on the left hand side here under the preferences column. Everything that I just did is here on the left hand side here. It may not be in the same order. For instance, right here under the CMA folder, here's your presentation setup. These are the pages of your presentation. So by default, my presentation will show a cover page, but we do not have any options to edit right now. The next one is cover letter. We can edit the cover letter. So if once again, you don't like what we said, you can come back here and change it at a later date. Agent resume. We just did that as well. Company info is done by the broker. Subject property detail one or two. The next one is summary of adjustments. Remember again, if we didn't change it in the preferences or the wizard, most likely it doesn't have an edit option here. Okay. Except for when we come to customizable report, horizontal or vertical. You can change the way that is um, laid out just by simply clicking here. And you can choose the fields that are there. That's really the only edit that you have on anything outside of the wizard reports. So all you're really doing here is you're checking the box next to each report you will like by default. My suggestion to you, if you've never done this, why not take a look at them all and then uncheck them from inside the report. And then once again, at a later date, you can come back and remove them permanently. Okay. Also, as we scroll down here through the reports, you have the ability to upload your own document. If there's a report that you would like to use that you would like to always appear, you upload it here in the preferences. But if there's a document just for one particular CMA that you are about to create, you will upload that document inside the CMA presentation so that it's only available for that particular presentation. After the presentation set up, you have page layout, which we've done. Choose a theme, footer, and disclaimer. And last but not least, you have adjustments and report set up. There are no adjustments to be made, but if there's an adjustment that you will always want to use, and you know for sure that we don't have it, you can create it here by simply clicking Add. And you create your own adjustment. For example, maybe a kitchen adjustment. We have a newly remodeled kitchen, so I'm going to say the description is kitchen, the value is X, and there we are. Okay. And then last but not least, you have report set up. You get to customize the way you like the layout of the report to look. Okay. All right here. Now that completes the preferences for your CMA here. If you have any more CMA preferences questions, feel free to email us, training at sandacor.com, or give us a call, 858-373-4014.